what would you do if you collapsed from excruciating pain and then found out that your arms and legs had to be removed? Such is the story of Sadie Kemp from England. It was a regular Christmas morning in Sadie's house. Everyone was busy with the festivities. While she was helping to put together her child's kitchen set, she felt terrible pain in her back. The pain was so severe that it was unbearable. She was immediately taken to the hospital where she was given medicines for the pain and sent home. Little did she know that she would be back in the emergency room the very next day. When the pain persisted, she revisited the doctors from the day before. While explaining to them she said that it felt like her kidney was being squeezed from the inside. Just as she spoke those words, she fell unconscious. When she regained consciousness, two weeks had gone by. She lay in the hospital bed, wondering what had happened and was told by the medical staff that she had a stone in her kidney. Normally such a condition can be overcome and through proper medication the stone can be reduced in size so that it can pass through the urinary tract. However, Sadie's case was not so simple. The stone had caused her body to go into shock due to a condition called sepsis. Sepsis is when internal or external body parts start to deteriorate due to an existing viral or bacterial infection in the body. It can be quite fatal. The doctors felt that it would take a miracle for Sadie to survive, and even if she did, she may have to face amputation of her arms and legs. Just as they were making preparations for the procedure, a miracle indeed happened. Sadie's limbs started to show signs of healing. But the joy of this news was short-lived as she was told that parts of her hands had suffered a great deal and could not be saved. The doctors carried out an advanced procedure where all of Sadie's fingers were removed. Her hands were attached to her stomach lining to keep the remaining tissue from dying. The same decision had to be taken for her feet. Before all of this had transpired, Sadie was a government employee, entrusted with the task of tracking and tracing cases struck by the coronavirus. As evident, her job entailed a lot of driving which she now won't be able to do. Furthermore, she had just gotten divorced and was now the only guardian of her two children. She had been trying very hard to make ends meet, as her divorce had caused her to lose around £10,000. Sadly now she is out of work due to her recent disability. She is also not able to stay at her house because she is now unable to climb the stairs. But Sadie is a fighter. When she is discharged from the hospital, she plans to do the best she can for her kids. She plans to get back on her feet with the help of her close relatives and friends who are making efforts to raise funds for her through donations. At times, during her recovery, she would wonder if it would have been better if she had been removed from medical support when she was unconscious. She now knew however, that her children needed her and that she has been given a second chance to live. It is times like these when you get to know what you are made of. With a positive mind and strong resolve, all can be overcome.